Happy St. Patrick's Day, Navigation Traders, Wednesday, March 17th. Well, I thought we were going to get lucky today. I thought we were going to have a nice green day due to it being St. Patrick's Day. Didn't start off that way. I was down. And then thank you to the leprechaun, Jerome Powell, coming in and sparking some action. Came in uh, with a late day green. Ended up plus 953.50 on the day. Uh, let's start with the two Mighty 90s we took in Baba and Roku, minus 594 on our Mighty 90s. Uh, had a nice pairs trade in Dow versus NASDAQ. This thing was back and forth. I was up a bunch. I was down a bunch. And when I say a bunch, a couple hundred bucks. Uh, and ended up taking it off for plus 216.50. And then on the runners, I uh, had a nice runner in Boeing for 297. Uh, loser and Beyond for minus 416. Disney minus 278. DKNG small winner 117, and then when the Fed announcement came out, jumped in Facebook for 1150 and Tesla for 948, my two big winners that put me in the green for the day, and Twitter minus 487. So let's check these out. I'll show you what we did. Starting with our mighty 90s, uh, Baba. So let's go to Baba. And what we saw here was had this initial push up, nice volume. Uh, got short, added it, to, added in here, got our little pullback, but it wasn't quite enough to get us uh, profitable. And I kind of, I didn't get a good fill. I was trying to get filled at the bottom here and it bounced on me pretty quick. So I ended up taking a loss on Baba. And then Roku was minus 180. Let's take a look at Roku. Uh, Roku push up, big volume. I was looking for a potential turnover right here. Yesterday's open, didn't push, 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 added to it right here. Uh, at the at yesterday's close, think we might get a reaction. Pushed up a little bit, then did give us a, a, a pushover. So got some of it back, but still uh, took a little loss in Roku. All right, so those are our mighty 90s. Then on to the runners, Boeing. Boeing, what did we do here? Boeing was plus 297. So in BA, uh, had this initial push up, big volume on this pullback, got long. Got out of uh, part of it up here, and then it pulled back. And held, 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 and then when it hit the um, unchanged mark here, added to it, and then scaled out of some, and held, held, held. Uh, I can't remember where I got out of my last piece, but ended up plus 297 on the Boeing trade. Beyond, Chad's favorite Beyond, uh, and a favorite of the community. Everybody loves Beyond Meat. Uh, got short here. It, 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 it never, it barely went positive to start the day, and then just treaded water below yesterday's low so i got short um right in this area here looking for a continuation lower it pushed up to the top of this consolidation area i got uh, i added some actually i think it was about right here i added some and it finally flushed out lower got at a half and then it, when it bounced up here i just closed out the rest so i ended up taking a loss and beyond in disney dizzy disney so disney had this uh after this, after we got done with the stream, Disney had this big spike here. I posted in the community, big volume. So on this pullback, I got long for continuation. It pushed higher, got out of some right here near the top. And then when it came back down, got in some more and uh, just kind of started bleeding, 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 and just kind of bled. And then finally, you know, when the, when the Fed came out, I was looking for a potential pop, got it. Didn't get a very good fill, but got, got some of it back, but still took a little loss on Disney. DKNG, uh, DKNG was plus 117, big volume spike here, got long in this pullback, got out of some, came all the way back. My line in the sand was this pivot here. It did bounce off that, uh, got out of some more here, and I think I may have... I think I may have closed out of all of it here. I can't remember exactly where I closed out my last piece, but plus 117 in DKNG. And then Twitter, Tweeter. Uh, Tweeter had this big initial volume on the second bar here and, and on this bounce got short, came down, almost got filled for half on this little candle wick right here, just missed it by a tick, and then it bounced. Um, and then I, I got short here again and it rolled over. So I got out of some, but then this thing just kept pushing, pushing, pushing. So I ended up just closing out minus 47 on Twitter. All right. So then the, uh, the fed announcement came out. I was, I was, uh, listening to it as well as watching the charts, as I mentioned this morning. And so what I did in, um, in Facebook was 
let's show you what I was looking at here. So Facebook was pretty strong all day. I mean, it was just hovering right around unchanged, you know, compared to some of these other stocks. It was staying fairly strong. And then when the Fed came out and made the announcement right here, boom, it pushed up on this pullback right to yesterday's high. It also lined up right with right with this price peak here. So it looked like a good entry, got long and pushed up. I got out of my last piece right up here at the pivot. So nice, nice uh, 1150 winner there. Nice trade in Facebook. And then Tesla, kind of a similar thing here. I, I waited a little bit longer to get in than Facebook. Had this push up, waited for this pullback that corresponded right here with the peak earlier in the day. So I got long right here near the bottom. And on this push up right here, I got out of my last piece right there. So plus 948 in Tesla. So plus $953.50. Thank you, Jerome Powell. Uh, I'll take it. Uh, lucky green day today on St. Patrick's Day. Everybody have a good one. We'll be streaming again tomorrow. See you then.